Hi everyone. Today I'll be showing you my Bucky Cube's uh, solar powered desktop fan. And this is made with uh, just over four packs of Bucky Cubes. And um, you can get your Bucky Cubes at getbuckyballs.com. And if you enter the promo code MOTOR, you can save 10% on your purchase, which is uh, brilliant. And uh, I highly recommend Bucky Cubes. As you can see here, you can make quite a vast array of things. I've definitely been experimenting and I've got a lot more things to show, but I'm just going to slowly filter them out because I don't want to put everything out there all at once and, and not get the right amount of views for each thing. Anyway, this, um, this simple solar powered uh, desktop fan. Um, the solar panel and the motor came as a, a pack uh, from Maplins, it's a solar motor pack, uh, and so did the, uh, the uh, propeller, came from Maplins as well, it's uh, like a, a propeller pack, and uh, this is one of my favourites in there, it looks a nice shiny red one. Anyway, um, to power it, um, I used the, um, uh, an LED solar powered uh, torch, um, circuit board and battery. So instead of uh, this powering the LEDs it used to power, it now powers the motor. And uh, it doesn't put out much current, which is kind of what I wanted. So it's quite eco-friendly, it uh, doesn't, doesn't use up too much power and, um, and it doesn't make the fan too powerful as well. Because if you've seen my other desktop uh, fan videos, uh, you know, someone's comment said it's more of a finger chopper than a, than a desktop fan. And I couldn't agree more. So this one's um, a nice gentle breeze, a uh, very slow moving propeller, but it's enough just to push your wind forward and, you know, just cool you down a bit. Anyway, I'll give you a closer look at this uh, wiring. Um, as you can see there, the uh, solar panel goes to that part there. Oh, I've got a message. I'm sure you, a lot of you will recognise that sound. And uh, there it is. Uh, that's the bit I took out of the uh, solar torch um, in it. There it is, and I've wired up where the LED went to the propeller, I mean to the motor. I used some nice uh, shrink wrap, uh, thanks for the advice from my father for suggesting this, it looks much more professional, and you don't get the um, shorting out either on the bucket cubes up here. Brilliant. Now, uh, you'll probably be wondering about the base, uh, this is like a, a, a lid from a, a wooden box, uh, that I got from a charity shop and these two shiny plates here are uh, parrot mirrors that I got from a pet shop uh, that are like metal, they're not actually glass so the buckyballs, the bucky cubes uh, stick to them nicely and transfer electric not that I'm using these for electric uh, today for this design so um, I'm not sure, uh, sure how long it lasts yet um, that battery but I don't think it's very long this is more of a uh, a prototype demonstration. I, I, I aim to get um, a much bigger battery pack uh, and maybe two solar panels, one up there as well. Uh, but for now this will do. Um, it works and I'll, I'll show you. I'll turn it on. There you go. That gives off a, a nice little push of breeze there. It's lovely. And it's uh, economical. I mean I've been uh, recharging my batteries quite often recently and I thought hmm I'm getting through quite a few batteries here and using up quite a lot, a lot of electricity so this is ideal really and I put it in my window during the day and when I come back home and want to cool down that's that's perfect yeah lovely anyway please uh, comment rate and subscribe and uh, let us know what you think um, any improvements or any ideas and uh, or just your general thoughts on it okay thanks for watching and uh See you again.